hello guys don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell right there so that you can get notifications every time i upload a video okay enjoy what is up you guys this is your boy andy matrix to talk about anime manga video games geek culture and japanese culture and here i am at nichiban.com and uh ken akamatsu man ken akamatsu he's really he's really a freedom fighter i mean now the guy is running for office in japan and i don't, and I don't mean like to to become president but um he's uh he's getting he's getting involved politically to protect to protect the freedom of uh of artists in japan right so ken akamatsu announces bid for japanese upper house seat right and this is like since last year since 2020 you know he's been he's been like constantly involved in politics to defend the freedom of creators and now here it says ken akamatsu creator of love hina and in case you guys have never heard of love hina it was a, it was kind of like a romance comedy harem anime from the 2000s right so i do actually like i do recommend you guys watch it it's really funny it's really it's really lovable it's really it's it's great i mean it's one of the uh one of my favorite harem animes i watched in the last you know when i was a teenager and it was one of the best along with girls bravo and a couple of others so i do recommend you go watch this anime uh it's really cool uh but yeah the creator the creator himself is getting involved politically right so it says he has announced their he has announced his intent to run for a spot in the japanese government it says akamatsu is an outspoken critic of attempts to to curtail freedom of expression in japan and i talk i keep talking about this guy again and again i mean i think i've made about five videos of this guy right um because he's he's worried about western influence in japan you know western influence such as like things like sjw um you know w-o-k-e i always say that um you know censorship <laughs> he's, he's he's afraid of all of this like when you're an artist censorship sucks bro it says he has also spoken in parliament as a manga creator and explained that japan's free ex free expression is what allows the medium to compete internationally back in june he said this month a member of the house of counselors asked me to ask a question but a diet member a diet member asked what kind of measures do japanese comics need to need to survive in the world <laughs> from my point of view says first of all freedom of expression uh japan has the advantage of being able to create free freely compared to other countries yes yes my goodness i mean i talked about before um in a video when i talked about china and china you know china take over anime the reason why a lot of stories the reason why a lot of stories in in china why a lot of chinese anime why the story just seems to suck and is very repetitive and the story keeps kind of like repeating itself is because there's a lot of things that people are not allowed to do right there's a lot of things that people are not allowed to do people things are people not allowed to say not even on television not even on a tv show right so it's like so that is why a, a lot of a lot of animes a lot of stories even chinese movies tend to be very very repetitive so people run out of ideas it's because our you know their government doesn't allow them to do much right <laughs> so that's the advantage that japan has uh, um, among other things right among other countries and actually here in his twitter account this is his personal twitter account he says as mentioned in some reports we had an interview at the liberal Dem democratic party headquarters in case you guys did not know japan is a liberal democracy okay i love the country very much uh it says i am determined to run for the upper house election next summer in order to protect my freedom of expression but not just his freedom by him fighting for his own freedom of expression he's also fighting for the freedom of other of other japanese creators you know it says we are currently in the process of selection and if there is a formal announcement from the party i would like a re reiterate i would like to reiterate my intentions can i come out to man i mean this guy this guy's a patriot <laughs> this guy is a real patriot for japan and look, if he wins, 
if he wins, let's say if he does get a, a, a political position in Japan, in, in, the, in the government office of Japan, like everybody benefits, manga artists benefits, and manga readers, anime, you know, anime fans, we benefit because, you know, our medium is safe because anime is one of the last few mediums that's not inundated with a lot of like, you know, Western influences such as like, you know, the WOKE being woke and... You know all these other like all these other things that just ruin a movie i mean you've seen how how a lot of movies get ruined by just sjw's and a lot of these other things you know you know um all this crap right and he's trying to defend that you know because here in the west where you know freedom of speech is being you know we still have freedom of expression but freedom of speech is being attacked and in japan you can still create uh whatever you want and and with this guy with this guy manga will not have the same if you know will not have to go through the same thing that the comic book industry went through <laughs> so cheers to this guy man i'm gonna keep following i'm gonna keep following his story i'm gonna keep following his movement to become you know to be part of the political office in japan uh, i'm gonna keep following that and see what happens and i'll be updating you guys on that so in the meantime you should subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell make sure you like this video make sure you comment below and thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next video this is andy matrix godspeed